What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Siberia OS ROM on this device. Of course this is based on Android 10 and you can see the stock wallpaper here looks pretty dope I would say and some things I have been noticing over here which are really really great in this ROM. So what are they? Let's talk about it in today's video. So first thing that I have been noticing is the launcher. Let me show you the like settings. Here is how it looks like the settings panel and we have the Google feed integration and stuff and then we have the allow home screen rotation so search bar and stuff then the notification gestures and the double tap gesture well you can double tap anywhere on the home screen to make the phone sleep this is quite a nice feature I would say like for a ROM like this on Android 10 and the unlocking speed over here as you can see with the fingerprint is really really fast and you can even use the like always on display and it works almost 100% of the time as you can see if you are noticing the unlocking speed this is like almost 100% of the time and it is pretty fast let me do it again with the lock screen unlocked let's do with the left thumb with the lock screen and it unlocked so no complaints that I have with the like unlocking of the fingerprint scanner speed over here the unlocking is really really fast it does work 100% of the time no complaints regarding the fingerprint scanner on this ROM so right now let's jump into the settings panel and show you guys the about section first and in the android version here is how it looks like this is the siberia logo up top and then we have the android version as android 10 of course and the siberia version is 3.3 this is the official build and january 1st 2020 security patch not quite february yet but maybe in the next build will be like having the february security patch and here the stock kernel is this sov mi 9 fod kernel and the build date is like 1st February 2020 build. Let me go back and talking about flashing this ROM. Well, you need the G apps to flash this ROM. Be careful about that. Like this ROM does need G apps because it's just a 700 MB ROM. And I have used the Nano Open G apps. So how did I flash this ROM if you ask me? Well, from the beginning, I was on the Evolution X ROM. So I wiped cache Dalvik system data. After that, I flashed this ROM file. Then I flashed the G apps file then flash the fcrypt disabler and I just rebooted because I'm decrypted that's why I flash the fcrypt disabler. Now here one complaint that I have is like Google Pay is not simply working here as you can see it says Google Pay can't be used but you can definitely fix it with Magisk and using Magisk Hide to like set up Google Pay and stuff but by default the Google Pay and stuff or the banking apps may not be working. So the stock camera over here is the MIUI camera as you can see and like all the lenses with the 0.6x and the wide angle lens and the telephoto lens is working fine I mean and videos and stuff slow motion is working fine here with 960 fps so not a problem MIUI camera is working great by default here and with this let me show you as you can see the front camera LED and stuff works fine too and it also makes the sound and here if you go into the system we also have this front camera effects and from here you can see we will have all the like sound effects over here and you can choose whatever you want in the gestures we have the system navigation gesture and stuff and of course you can hide the pill if you would like and use the full real estate of the screen by the way the android 10 gestures are working flawlessly and here we have the two button and three button navigation too like if you want to use that let me go back we have the developer options and updater is there so you can check for updates anytime like as you can see this updater is like looking pretty cool in my opinion and I think whenever there is a new update it will show up right here. If you are decrypted I won't suggest you using this stock updater just manually flash the ROM and the fcrypt disabler to update. Now let me show you the customizations in the Siberia settings. We have the like system customization of course. In the general tweaks we have the pocket detection, wake up on charge, disabling options, screen off animation. Charging animation is working fine over here whenever you are plugging in. It shows a pixel 4 kind of animation so that looks cool. In the animations we have this whole UI animation changing option. List view animation and stuff is there, quick setting toggle animation is there. So that's great and in the button section we have the power menu here we get the advanced reboot then we have the disabling power menu on the lock screen and then we have the screenshot restart power etc and advanced reboot is there and it does show up as you can see if you tap on restart you can get the options on the like directly rebooting to recover your fast boot you can get it and playback control volume stuff is there in the buttons and in the notification we have the notification light then we have the battery charging light etc and the noisy notification and stuff is there and then we have the ambient music ticker and the edge lighting option in the lock screen you can change the duration of the edge lighting and you can even change the colors of the edge lighting 
let me go back to the dialer we have the in call vibrations like vibrate on connect then we have pulse flashlight on incoming call like MIUI and then we have some aggressive battery settings and gaming mode is there if you'd like to use it you can use it definitely add a game over here like PUBG let me go back and in the panels we have the status bar option and in the status bar items we have headset bluetooth etc icon then the cross when the data is disabled etc you can even control that roaming icon auto rooted screen wi-fi etc is there let me go back to the battery style we have these many battery styles and in the battery percentage you can enable it or you can enable it while charging and stuff and here we have the clock options etc you can customize the clock options you can change the date position and stuff and here we have the show 4g instead of lte then we have the wall icon and if you're noticing the wall icon is there right here and the volte works super fine i'll show you the stock dialer later on and you can choose between these many volte icons and this is as many as evolution x so no issues with the volte icons and we have the status bar showing up on lock screen option and in the notification panel we have the quick pull down etc and heads up disabling option is there as you can see you can heads up from here from this notification panel and we have vibrate on touch etc let me go back from this notification inside navigation bar we have the invert layout well, if you want to invert the two button or three button navigation layout, you can do that. Now, let me go to the lock screen and here we have the fingerprint error vibration, lock screen charging info and I would say I miss one feature that is always unlocked with fingerprint scanner. It is not simply there, but except for that, we have almost everything like FOD icon picker, etc. is there. Let me show you, you get these many like icons like the fingerprint scanner unlocking stuff. You get these many icons to choose from. I am using this one and it's working great. And you can even change the color of the light on the figment scanner and you can choose it to usually cyan and a white and even green like me why so you can have a lot of options and we have the show on lock screen weather options and then we have the media artwork music visualizer etc of course in the lock screen in the gestures we have the swipe to take screenshot this is working fine as you can see screen of power button torch is there let me show you if it actually works and by the way double tap to wake actually works too here no problem with that but this as you can see the like long press for torch is not quite working when you have the always on display turned on as you can see it just shows up the power menu and stuff so yeah if you're using the like always on display this screen of power and torch it may not work and double tap to sleep on the status bar and lock screen as well is working fine and we also have the double tap to sleep anywhere on the home screen like you can just double tap here and it will lock the screen really great feature i would say let me go back from these gestures so that is all customizations we have over here and here we have the about Siberia for the team and stuff. Let me go back in the battery settings and here talking about the battery life, pretty insane things are happening. I have been getting almost like maybe 6 plus hours of screen on time with 47 or 48 percent juice left. If you are noticing the screenshot from here, the battery life is just insane. You can definitely get about 8 plus or even 10 hours of screen on time with this I guess. I'm not sure if you don't use the device heavily you can get 10 plus hours of screen on time maybe so that is it the battery life is just insane no problems with that and in the display settings we have the night light option you can use that adaptive or auto brightness is there light display is there so you can control the RGB of the screen and styles and wallpapers is there in the customs we can change the fonts and stuff we have a bunch of fonts here and you can change the clocks of course if you would like as you can see there are multiple options like these and in the grid option you can choose which grid you want to use and in terms of the wallpapers i would say you do not get the live wallpapers like evolution x so if, if you want to install the live wallpapers of pixel 4 you can install them but it's not present by default and let me scroll down we have the lock screen display and from here you can choose on and off with the always on display however you like and you can turn it on for the new notifications too then we have the double tap to wake and game driver preference options are there dashboard customizations kind of is there ambient display option is there if you want to use them for some reason and we have the dark theme of course i have been using it with the dark theme and it's working great and the accent colors are pretty much insane options we have as you can see you just have to scroll down and you can see there are multiple options plethora of accent colors are present in the ui then we have the body fonts and here too we can see like there are a lot of fonts as you can see no problems with the fonts or accent colors customization here and then we have the icon shapes option and we get like bunch of more like icon shape than usually we get so pretty much great customizations in the sound settings we have the like vibrate for calls and also we have the live caption mode as you can see 
and you can turn it on from the volume panel too and it does work super fine no issues with that and here if you scroll down we have the me audio direct and you can choose it to be youth edition or something all the presets are there and you can have it on rock jazz pop etc too and hi-fi audio direct is there too and screenshot sound you can disable it and you can disable multiple things like charging vibration and stuff those things are there if you want to like disable or turn on any sound effects now let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app on up speeds and the ram management over here so as you can see the apps are opening pretty fine no issues with like the apple note speeds and everything seems pretty fine as you can see app opening ups are pretty smooth and all the animations are pretty great and you can switch between apps just like this no issues with uh, like app switching or something and by the way i have also installed the google camera 7 which i forgot to mention and this is working fine this is the latest google camera by yonix or something and if you want to install this i'll link a card right here you can install it from there and like change the settings also the wide angle and telephoto lenses with this google camera working fine including night side and you also get the widevine l1 support if you have the redmi k20 pro indian version if you have the indian version i will definitely recommend you if you are coming from latest miui that is totally fine you don't need to flash the vendor but if you are not coming from latest miui do flash the miui 11.0.3 vendor firmware of the like rafael in and with this like stock launcher you can swipe down anywhere on the home screen to like get the quick settings panel to the left we get the google now cards not a problem here swipe get the like app drawer and then again we have the double tap to sleep anywhere and we have the widgets and stuff are working fine over here now let me open pubg and show you guys the gaming performance and here one thing i forgot to mention is that like sound output via the bluetooth and the headphone jack as well are working great no issues with the sound output and here we have the hdr and extreme settings for pubg and no issues while gaming that i could find in pubg as you can see the character is moving so fast and smooth i have no issues with gaming performance in this rom and here is the entry score of this rom and talking with the stock dialer this is how the stock dialer looks like and the volte calls and stuff are working fine and here we have the recording call option so that's not a problem and we also have a video calling option too so that is not a problem either and wi-fi calling works too over here that's not an issue either so that's been it guys thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye now